mister. Sir, good morning. Ooh, fifty-five dollars. Come in. The amendment. He's with the Moines Raiders wanted for stealing property, crimes against officers of the state, and the murder of postal mail carrier. Is he is French? Last seen, Catfish Jackson. The reward will be paid upon presentation of him alive or with positive proof of his demise. All right. Yes, sir. Where's where is the stagecoach information, please? I would like stagecoach information. Hold your horses, won't be long. Okay. Do you have stagecoach information? Because it says on the map you have. Please. Hi there, Mister. Hello. Well, hello again. I got another one. You interested? Yeah. Thanks, Alden. Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Head north of the road. Past Face Rock, wagon full of antiques coming in the northeast, headed for a Byron Road. Should be only a couple of guards delivered to Seamus and Emerald Ranch. Careful not to damage the wagon or the cargo. Thanks, partner. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gabby? No! Where's the horse going? Yep. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Stay on the path. Oh, hey! Look who it is. I'm still picking the dust out from my teeth. So what do you say we go again? First one of Catfish Jackson's. How could I say no? Ready? Let's go! I'd really like to keep this horse though. I, don't even, I remembered her voice, but I did not remember racing her until she mentioned the dust in her. Oh, screw you, lady. Well, that's what yeah. I get for trying to cut corners. Yep. Yeah, I'm losing. Oh, and now I've hurt the horse. Please be okay. Please be okay. You're okay. Come on, girl. Oh, did you wait for me? That was nice of you. Just had the edge today. Damn it, not again! I'm about ready to send 
this horse to the Oh, you blame your horse. Good race. Could have gone either way. It could have. I wish things was different. Go ahead. Is he in the camp? I don't want his horse, I want my horse. Get on the damn thing. Oh shit, I just lost my horse, didn't I? Shoot the one that's right in front of me, please. And I died again. I don't have the right guns for this because I wasn't planning on doing this. Good work, my friend. I am proud of you, Porsche. That will send a clear message. That's it. Someone's coming. My... Be about that warning. Ah! No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. No. Kill it more. Kill him. This guy alive. Dollar and twenty two cents and some bitters. I have committed no crime. I fight for your country. Let me just loot your pals. It's nice that they all landed here by each other. Let's go, girl. You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. What are they offering? A hundred dollars, two hundred? Fifty five. Hopefully that. What? There must be some mistake. My <laughs> name is Danny de Mimo. We know. Yeah, blame your parents for that, not me. <laughs> we got you, Captain. I know oh, the Lord Rider going. Federal child. Yeah, they are. Yeah, well, we wipe the light off your face. Fuck off. Go, horse, please. On, it looked like it was a loser, but it was a tree. Keep going. Keep. I wish I could aim and have the horse go on the path at the same time. Oh, my horse! Fuck off, fuck off, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. No, not him. The horse guy. Goodness, I had that. 
And thank goodness she didn't die while I was doing that. Hierarchy? Is that how it's said in France, or is that just his accent? Oh, that was cool. And then I oh no, I'm back over it and then doing that. Fuck me. I'm sorry, horse. This guy is not having a fun ride. Last I checked. Oh, that's a doctor. She's coming this way. Howdy. You are a traitor, Sending Sheriff Thomas. Against your own. Quiet down. It's always been all used problems. <laughs> Too damn noisy for folks good. Now for my money. That's what we'll pay for. I guess 55. that's what I'll have to accept then. Yep. Can I talk to him? Aww. I didn't know it was a time limit or I would have done it. Fuck me. Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. You dumbass. Good to see you back. So, is Kieran hey, still missing? Well, out there. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. It's good seeing you in action with those Foreman boys. 
Yeah, Mrs. Grimshaw can really well, handle her own. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm just saying. Me too. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Hey. Hello. How you doing? Tired. Well, some movement might wake you up. All right then. <laughs> You're so mean to people. Where's that dog? Why is there a dog? I love dogs. <gasps> Jack! How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Well, don't explore too far. I okay. mean, as a well, let's talk more later. Let me know if you find candy. <laughs> as a kid who's used to sleeping in a tent, this place would be so amazing. Hello, boy. Oh, you got boy. You okay? Are you limping? Good boy. Look a little mangy. You should get some food. All right, let's do that loan money. Hey, Arthur. Hey. Oh, let's do it. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery. All right, nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. Let's do it. There's a stage coming through. Mm -hmm. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Alright. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, <laughs> I thought I'd do it on my own. Sure. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but. I've heard that before. I've heard unprotected before, and next thing you know, there's a freaking army. Now, exactly. Thank you. Who you want to go with? Me. I guess you. Thank you. No. I don't need no hand holding off. Of I'm gonna hold it anyway. Come on, kid. But if we decide to do it once we've had it, I'll come taking half the money. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. Well, there's something upstairs, but I'm going with Lenny now. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. That was a freaking shit show. Leave this place behind, if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least you just got a roof. You got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the junior. <laughs> oh, you ain't even twenty years old. Your time will come. Who though? And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. All right. Okay, okay, I do. I trust you, Lenny, but only because it's you. Past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys for three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I do it again right now. Of course. What a lovely view. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. All right. I've got my weapons. All right. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Oh, I see it on the map. Which gun should I use? Oh, definitely Lancaster then.
Arthur, that's not really crouching. Right. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Sure. sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Uh, wait until they can't turn. God damn it, Lenny. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Ching. You laugh? Yeah. Thank goodness. Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Well, is there any money? Look, look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much. But I'm still getting half. Stage companies do this all the time. Set up traps. Catch fools. Shit. You me. <laughs> I feel like a fool. Well, that's good. Cause you are. At least we can sell the coach. You're still alive, so. Can more I sell the coach? Well, Where's my horse? Here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Oh, I want to loot these guys, but I don't want to risk people seeing me loot. Uh, actually, you know what? I can. I'm gonna sell this carriage so hard. Alright, let's go get that carriage and sell it. No, not the horse. The carriage. Not the horse. The carriage. See the carriage. Get on the carriage. On the carriage. On the carriage, Arthur. Why aren't you getting on the carriage? I want to sell it. Let me on. None of the horses are dead. Let me on. Let me on! What the fuck? Please? Please, can I sell the carriage? You freaking suck. You're not even gonna let me cut them free? They're just stranded here? There, I'll cut this one free. Then they'll give me a reason not to freaking take it. There, you're free. Be free. Oh shit, what's that? Whoa, shit! Get that fucking weapon out right the fuck now. Oh. It's just a big cat. I didn't have time to study it, I'm sorry. It's a panther. Holy shit, I'm gonna sell this. Or uh, maybe I should give it to... Yeah, it's a low quality. I'll give it to... Um, Pearson. Pearson's gonna be so impressed with my panther. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur, get over here. Yes. Oh, come on. What do you want? 
don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting Whoa. shot at. Oh, well, oh my panther's gone. Okay. I expected uh, that. This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm. Yeah, all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know oh, those freaking panther. God damn it. Livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <sighs> King Panther was such a freaking okay, like, like it, it's just gone. I don't even. I thought that I would like he would talk to me and then I could put it back on my horse. I didn't realize it would just despawn like a little right bitch. Sounds like the life. Oh wait! Oh my gosh! You're giving me like a last-second opportunity here. It's more than oh, it's just a big ranch. Okay. Right. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses flopping around outside the window. Come, on, let's take it closer. Well, you said a marching band could handle it, but I get you. I get you. Only twisters. The hell? Who are these clowns? Well, then, Uncle needs to hurry up. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Oh, do you think? Well, would you like to include me on it? Do I have to get my knife out? Are we gonna we gonna stab these fools? Could just oh, stop God. standing. I'm doing the best I can. Oh my God! They're doing what we're doing. God. You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. You're a son of a bitch. That ain't one. <laughs> now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? You I, said... I thought you had a plan. I'm gonna stab you. I ain't so sure now. Christ. I'll take care of him. I don't know where the second one is. Oh, fuck, I thought that because I could intimidate them. Shit. Well, come on, you, you better break the padlock. One My second. Skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. 
Surprised I survived that, if I'm being completely honest. I missed. The freaking thing is messing my shoulder up. Yeah, I did it twice. Can I, like, study any of these? Because I don't know if I've seen a Florida Cracker Cow before. Yeah. Uh, uh. <sighs> you beautiful creature. Good cows, you know the drill. Good cows. I love cows. If you ever just looked a cow in the eyes, they have like the sweetest face. Oh, I'm sorry, are the bodies in your way? Moving. Come on. Get moving. Move it up. Oh, this one's not really the problem. Okay. Dude. Are you better? Oh, your neck is stuck. Well, is there anything I can do with the fence to fix that? There you- Nope, nope, you were okay. Get- Get out of the way. Get out of the way. No, I'm making it worse. Making it worse. Making it worse. Oh, now I can't move. I'm stuck. Okay. Move, cow. Go, go. I don't know if you're like trying so hard, sweetheart. Can I just push it a little? Arthur, I'm trying to help the cow. Just go! Let me occupy the space you are stuck in. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you behind and hope there's a cutscene. What the, what the hell? Ah, oh, shit. Damn you. And robbers, come here. <laughs> he knocked himself out. Uh, well, me shooting him in the chest probably didn't help. Oh, yeah, that cow's not... There's a cow being left behind. Yeah, you do that. I don't want to leave her behind. She's gonna die. Oh, she did it! Yay! What? Are you serious? Uncle! Where's the one that ran off? Uh, uh. Oh. Hold up. What? Why are we holding up? Where are we taking the herd? Back to the camp? I don't understand where we're taking them. Am I going the wrong way? Is what I need to know. Where are we taking these freaking cows? There's an X. 
on the map, but I don't see it when I do this. Oh, there. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. I got this. I got this. I got this. Ooh. Stop. Thank you. Set. That is my waypoint. Oh, whoa, whoa, cows! You are going the wrong way. Can I, can I yell at the cows? May I please yell at the cows? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I guess we're going the right way. Ooh, ooh. It just said try not to trample the animals and I was like, how would I trample such a big animal? Stray, please. Well, if I'm doing that, I don't really need this, do I? Thanks for helping. Go, go! Oh. You. Hey. Oh. Okay, apparently I. Can. Oh, there. There we go. Thank you. Oh, we've got a deer, too. Oh, you're the same cow, aren't you? Thank you. Now what? A. Well, hey there. What you got? Cows. Cattle. Well, I can see that. Who's cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. I can give you uh, fifty bucks. Are you serious? Fifty bucks each times uh, twenty cattle. No, no, fifty total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to Ugh. move them right away. We'll take two hundred, friend. Friend. That costs. Mm. One fifty. Mm. Seventy-five and not a dollar more. One hundred. I don't shoot you. Hmm. So menacing. Why well, pay your friend here? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I love that Clyde is Be the role I was playing there. with Hosea. This is nasty country. Mm -hmm. there, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. No, I want to. Okay. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. What am I doing? Oh, okay. He was just zoomed in and didn't unzoom. Cool. God damn drunk horse. Pretty sure you're the one that's drunk. Pay no attention. Okay. You there. Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? Yeah, sure. Oh, I've yeah. had this freaking game, Thanks, played this game sir. before.
I don't care. It's moonshine. And clearly it's good. Nothing else. Oh, there's something. Let me, let me. Ah. Never mind, it's not something. Come on, girl. Got yeah. it. Didn't make it very far, did you? Sir? He's out. He's down for the count. Okay, moving on. Lenny! Good morning. You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. Appreciate you saying that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure, Arthur. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. Hey there. Good morning, Arthur. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't either. Fuck up. It's gonna be all right. All right. Hello. I'm hungry this morning. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. He's hungry. You take care now. Uh-huh. Damn drunk. Someone's Thank on a mission. You your help with Miss Jackson. You're welcome. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Of course, that's how it should Thank be. Thank you. I think. Oh, hello, dog. Didn't mean to walk on you. Kane, I know your name. I should use it. Done some debt collecting. Excellent. Sure. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Hey. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, what party? Sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalind is finally showing his true colors. Oh, right. Climbing. Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to wear a gown? <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being Oh, is it over? Quite often. No, oh, no, 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 no pickpocket. Oh, it's not. We are here okay. to make real contact. What kind we brought of contact? Uncle? I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure <laughs> that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Having a good time already. Getting the party started early. That's a good thing to do. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions. And this isn't an official function. <laughs> Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I'm not a very touchy person. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. <laughs> Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. This place like is it's too nice to wait. If that makes sense. Wait, I'm going with yeah, okay. Mm. I know Don uh, Dutch is wearing the top hat. I just got a little confused because Uncle seems like a top hat kind of guy. I guess we are the angry cowboys, aren't we? <laughs> oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Quite yes, indeed. quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. 
Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a um, to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I could handle making fun of Fellows. politicians, but... Paper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. Oh, my. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I'm going to pretend no you're offense. not a dick. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. Good day. You go, what uh, exactly are your plans? Well, we've not made any. Well, we are going to need some money. <coughs> oh, it makes the world go round. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. Good day. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> mm, he's having fun, at least. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. I don't feel very, like, good without my hat. I feel exposed. I'm following Dutch. Thank you for the welcome. Ciao, ciao. It's Italian for food. Ooh. Oh, it was Bill, not Uncle. Well, that's not much better. Okay, so no longer follow Dutch. Yeah, okay, thank you. Looking for the mayor, he was talking to the natives. Sorry, I was trying to remember the politician, then I remember what friggin' Bronte called them, and I was like, nope, not doing that. Are you the mayor? How's it going with you? No, you're not the one I'm looking for. Mayor. Angelo saw you from the balcony, so you can't be too far. Are you Ferdinand? I did not hear what your name was. It's listening to this. Merge myself into the conversation. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. Who's Ferdinand? Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. Okay. Guest five is Ferdinand. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey. You are pretty drunk. Don't be mean. That's supposed to be Abraham Lincoln. I 
Come on. Why am I? Come on, sleep am I stumbling because he's stumbling? All right, okay. God damn it. Back to the mayor. Sit down and calm down. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Do it, Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got mm -hmm. here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Always. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Ooh. My is this lord, the first time Arthur's ever seen fireworks? He looks pretty... Excuse me, father. Excuse me, father. Uh, Monsieur. What? What's going Mr. on? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad uh -oh. horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign up in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. You say something about Cornwall? That's what I heard. Find out what. It's always up to me. I mean, I don't know. I, because I'm at a party, I feel like first person is appropriate. And it's not like I really have to see what Arthur's doing. It's not like when Mary was here and I wanted to see the two of them together when we were following her dad. Though it would have been cool seeing that alleyway from... Should I not follow? He's a guard. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he does. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. I just don't want to miss where he goes after he turned. What are they talking about? Trying to be sneaky. Ah, fine. He's not moving exactly. Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. You will not have standard slip in this house. Oh no. I'm sorry, sir, but the party's in the garden. Of course. Damn it, he turned around. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Could you <gasps> you are? He hit her. For the likes of you, you know this. I hate that. In this house are slipping. I hate the whole scene and not her rule. Can I be nice to her? Oh, she's gone. Oh, is that her? Oh, is he going up the stairs? What's this? Inspecting the letter. Ah. No, that's it. Guards! Guards! We have an intruder! No, we don't. Shit. I didn't know he was coming back. Alright, fine. 
Oh, he went that way. Well, I feel dumb. I don't know which way he's gonna go. Alright. Okay, okay, he's gone. Now I can actually- come on, go! Is there anything else in this room I can take? It's like, this guy's rich. No? Alright, inspect the letter. That's what I get for trying to go first person. Alright, uh, letter to Angela Monte from Mayor Lemway, uh, from the office of the mayor, city of St. Denis Le Moyne, May 1899, Mon cher Angelo, yet again, the city is in debt to you, and I am flabbergasted by your generosity, the magnificent gift we provided, will be proved to be a cornerstone in the financing of our dream and establishing a world renowned by this university and our city. Uh, we are now well on our way to the funds of necessary to found both the Divinity School and the Humanities College. Future students in the one will owe a great deal of the, to the vision of men such as you. I'm forever grateful, your friend Henry Lemieux. All right, now I gotta get back. Oh wait, where is it asking me to go now? Yeah, okay, what? Am I signing the letter? What am I doing here? There's more. Is there more? I'm so confused. Oh, there's a ledger. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Our secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Gonna open that up. Oh, gonna keep it. Now I'm gonna leave. Dutch, I'm coming and I've got some secrets. Just act like you belong and no one's gonna notice you're there. She doesn't. Shh. I'm leaving. Alright, Dutch, I got the stuff. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, you're not Dutch. What's this about? Nothing. Hi. <coughs> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave... That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I had a fun time at the party. So awkward in all my life. I'm all sure. the folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. 